So we're continuing with collisions problems, and this is a little bit like the one that we just did, but there's one significant difference. So we have, now we have clay models of koala bears sliding around on the ice. The first one has a mass of 0.2 kilograms, and it slides on the ice with a speed of 0.75 meters per second. It slams into another clay model, but the second clay model is at rest. Because they're clay, they stick together, and they have one final velocity. Question is, what is that final velocity? So let's take a look at what's going on here. We've got this guy's at rest. He's sliding into him. Our givens are the mass and the velocity of the first koala bear, the mass of the second koala bear, and that the velocity of the second koala bear is zero. And we're looking for the final velocity. So we know that momentum in this case is conserved. So initial momentum is equal to final momentum, and we know our equation for momentum. The key is that all of the momentum in this case comes from the first koala bear. And this is what it looks like. We remember that initial momentum is m1v1 plus m2v2. This is still true. And final momentum is m1 plus m2 times v final. But my favorite thing, we get to cross something out because it's zero. Since this velocity is zero, this whole thing goes away. So then we get that our final velocity is equal to m1 v1 divided by m1 plus m2. Yay! So then we put in our numbers, 0.2 times 0.75 divided by 0.2 plus 0.35. And that's going to give us our final velocity. Put it into your handy dandy calculator. And you get that your final velocity is 0.273 meters per second. Put that over in your solution box. And there you are, another example of a momentum problem for you. Good luck with your homework.